I'm Chris Winslow, supervisor of the Clover Hill District. The coronavirus pandemic has challenged us all, both personally and professionally. Our public's health is our number one priority, and we, all of us, are working together to stop the spread of the virus. Indications are that our collective efforts are working, but we still have a ways to go. I wanted to highlight for a few minutes the ways we can all help lessen the impact on the virus on our local business community. Number one, distance socially, eat locally. Many restaurants in Chesterfield were some of the first businesses hit by the economic impact, and many are adapting and enhancing their takeout and delivery options. We saw this happening and decided there were things we could do to help them remain open for business. Chesterfield Economic Development, with the support from the GIS team and the county's Information Systems Technology Department and our partners at the Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce, went to work and launched Chesterfield Eats to Go. This online tool available at chesterfieldbusiness.com eats is now connecting citizens with nearly 190 nearby restaurants that are open for pickup or delivery. Similar is a Facebook group called Chesterfield, Virginia Takeout Curbside and Delivery Options. Three citizens started this group in mid-March and it now has over 4,000 members. Here, citizens and restaurants post news of special promotions or menu options available for pickup or delivery. Some of the photos are amazing. Many restaurants are offering family packs for reasonable prices. Virginia Tourism Corporation also ran a successful Virginia is for Restaurant Lovers Takeout Week, March 30th through April 5th. Commercial food orders to one supplier were up 30% that week proof positive that this type of ingenuity and teamwork are helping to keep an important segment of our economy quite literally cooking. Of course, in Chesterfield, we want every week to be takeout week. Number two, connect yourself and your business to information. Chesterfield is blessed with a strong and diverse business community, and there are a number of private and government information resources to connect with as we weather this storm. The Board of Supervisors have been working to compile and convene resources for citizens. And first, I want to mention the website, chesterfieldbusiness.com. This site connects both employees and businesses to real information you can use, whether it is the Virginia Employment Commission to file for unemployment or the Virginia Small Business Development Center, which contains a wealth of information. Second, I want to highlight the Capital Regional Workforce Board's Rapid Response COVID-19 Business Support Initiative. This initiative is actively assisting small businesses, fewer than 250 employees, in staying open. They're doing things like paying for cleaning services and purchasing technology to support employee teleworking. As of today, the initiative still has funds left for small businesses in Chesterfield. So please fill out the application. It's available at the website listed on your screen. Finally, we are extremely fortunate to have such a strong Chamber of Commerce in Chesterfield County. Please visit the Chamber's website and Facebook pages. They are generously making available all of their valuable resources and trainings during COVID-19. I wanna thank Danielle Fitzhugh and her staff for their excellent insight and engagement during this time. Number three, Go the Distance. One of my favorite songs is The Distance by a band called Cake, proudly representing Generation X here. It begins with the line, reluctantly crouched at the starting line. And I think this accurately sums up where we all are right now, professionally, in one way or another. While we don't know how long this pandemic will last, the good news is that many of the resources being made available are engaging us to prepare for the long haul. I want to highlight a couple of items in particular. If you own a small business in Chesterfield with less than 500 employees, take the time to look at the Paycheck Protection Program. This is a federal loan guarantee for loans made by banks in our county, and it began accepting applications just a week ago. Generally, this program can help provide the funds necessary to pay your employees for eight weeks and the loan or a portion of it may be forgivable. I repeat, the loan may be forgivable. More information is available on this program at the Virginia Small Business Development Center at virginiasbdc.org. 
or call your bank. They know about this program and will walk you through the requirements. Lastly, I want to encourage every business owner in the county to go the distance by using this time to set up technology that will take your company through to the end of the virus. We're all going to be leaning heavily on video conferencing, voice over IP phone systems, document sharing programs, and other technology. And so be on the lookout for ways you can set yourself up now for success, no matter how long this situation endures. So to review, distance socially, eat locally, connect yourself and your business to information, go the distance. On behalf of the Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors, I want to thank you for your ideas, your energy, your ingenuity, and your teamwork at a safe distance, of course, as we persevere for our local businesses and employees and overcome this virus. Thank you.